We're going to turn on now to our GMA cover story, a closer look at how the war in Ukraine is impacting children. Brought home by this powerful photo, strollers lined up at a train station in Poland left behind for parents fleeing with kids. Matt Cummins is on the ground in Lviv. Good morning, Matt. George, good morning. This is an orphanage in Lviv, but every one of the kids you see behind me is from the frontline city of Donetsk. Now, before the conflict, there were already 100,000 children living in institutions in this country, and this war is only producing more of them. Empty strollers lined up along the platform at a Polish train station left there by Polish mothers for Ukrainian mothers. Strangers bound by the solidarity of motherhood and the desire to help. So far, over two million refugees fleeing their homes, half of them children, and among them, the most vulnerable. Those soft faces gazing into the screen, it's Paw Patrol propped up on that teddy bear. Outside, kids squeal on the merry-go-round. But this building bolstered with sandbags, it's not a preschool. It's a state-run orphanage here in Lviv. Volunteers spend hours building blocks with kids, coloring and cuddling. The head of the orphanage tells us her census has nearly doubled with orphans from cities under siege. And despite the affection, those smiles and nourishing meals, there are nightly reminders of what they've suffered. Every night when we hear the sirens, do they get terrified? She tells me it was horrible the first day the kids arrived. Every child was shouting and screaming. Anna Borchik volunteers here every day. Before the war, she majored in political science. Now it's kid diplomacy. Oh, I mean, there yes. seems like there's a lot of aggression, a lot of anger. Like they have so bad memories and that's okay, but I can make them, uh, I can make good memories for them. And mm. that's what I'm trying to do. Minnesotan Justin Hazlett is also trying to create good memories. He's now based across the border in Poland, coordinating efforts to relocate orphans out of Ukraine. He co-founded the nonprofit group Legacy Refuge. I think our you know window is probably narrowing here, and so we're really hustling with with everybody else trying to get as many of them out in the next couple of days as possible. Justin and Ulaya have four sons back at home and have been working towards adopting a 12-year-old Ukrainian girl, Sasha Hope, for nearly two years now. She's visited the family in the U.S. at least five times and was able to safely flee Ukraine with her orphanage to Switzerland. The family's painstaking adoption process now in limbo. Kids desperately want to come home to their families that have hosted them, um, especially in this difficult time where they're fleeing a war zone. So many folks have been asking how they can help. Uh, International Rescue Committee, UNICEF, Save the Children are also soliciting donations. They say they need funds for food, water, hygiene kits, and most importantly, psychological help. George. Okay, Matt Gutman, thanks. For more information on how to help Ukraine, you can point your cell phone camera at that QR code on your screen right there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.